This episode of In Focus is brought to you by DeVry University. Let nothing stand in your way. Gabby Douglas burst onto the gymnastics stage at the 2010 Pan American Games. The 14-year-old from Virginia captured gold in the team and uneven bars, won the hearts of gymnastics fans, and earned the nickname Flying Squirrel. Gabby's performances also helped her earn some pretty high praise. Everyone kept saying, you're the next Dominique Dawes, you're, you're just like her. And I was, I was wow, I was like wow. Now, I know a thing or two about gymnastics, so I wanted to meet the young teenager who many have compared to, well, me. I was thrilled to meet her for myself and see how accurate these comparisons were. Hi, how are you? Aww. Oh you're so Thank you. Aww. I can't believe that I'm meeting you. Like, it was like a dream come true. Yeah, me too. Oh Just my goodness. I always want to meet you. Yeah. Well, let's chat for a little bit. Okay. You that? Yeah. <laughs> Gabby took to gymnastics at an early age, and her mom realized she better get her some coaching very quickly. She kept flipping off the furniture. She kept trying to do more and more daring things, and I thought, if we don't get her some professional help, she, she might kill herself. Which Olympic Games was that that you remember watching? Because it definitely wasn't mine in 96. No. That was 15 years ago. When yeah. you were what? Zero? Maybe a few yeah. months old. Yeah. 2004. 2004. Yeah. And you watched those girls and you knew right then and there. I was like, I want to do that. Was it something that your mom said, your coaches said, or the, your fans had even said to you that, you know, you've got talent, you've got the potential? Yeah. I was doing everything, you know, my skills, and and people always compare me to you. She's a miniature Dominique Dawes. So I was just so flattered that people compared me to you, and I just go watch your videos all the time. And I'm like, well, if she can do that, I can. So ever since then, I wanted to go to the Olympics. But making the Olympic team would require many sacrifices along the way, including leaving her family to go train in Iowa. When she came up to you and she told you mm -hmm. that she wanted to move and she wanted to trade in Iowa away from home, yeah, what came to your mind? No. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I would miss you. Like, you would be away from your family. And she, she said, I barely see you now. Because with the camps, she was traveling all the time, going back and forth to Texas. She was at the gym 36 to 38 hours a week. So she was like a stranger to me. I have made a lot of sacrifices coming to Iowa not being with my dad whenever I want to, not hanging out with the mall with my friends whenever I want to, but you know, at the end, it will all pay off one day and a very big dream. I just felt like this was her dream and I'm there to support it, not to take over. And so my role was basically to just be just that, her supporter. Before making her Olympic dreams come true, Gabby had to prove herself to one of the sport's toughest critics, Marta Caroli wife of legendary gymnastics coach Bella Caroli. Together, the Carolis have trained nine Olympic champions, 15 world champions, and 16 European medalists. It's safe to say they know talent when they see it. It's just like Marta Caroli, Marta. She's looking at you. Everything has to be perfect for her to watch. And if it's not perfect, you're not pleasing her? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. So she's looking for perfection. She is. Consistency, quality, difficulty, of course. And then how does it make you feel when you know you can't be perfect all the time? What matters is if I can be perfect at that time. When Marta's looking, competition, one shot. And so that's that one shot you're going to have in London to get to where? The top of the podium? Top of the podium. Gymnastics has long been a sport where few African Americans have made an impact. Gabby is looking to become a trailblazer, much like Betty Okino, Jair Lynch, and Chaney Humphrey. I really hope to make history. I mean, this is a black sport, so I, I want everyone to be like, wow, she, I mean, she's African American. They can't do that. I want to be like, hey, yes we can. What do you want people to say about Gabby at the end of your journey? If Gabby can do it, I can do it. Moving out here, moving out to Iowa with the host family, parents being away, that's really hard to think about it. I am missing so much, 
but I try not to get distracted by that too because I have a job to do, train. So when she sees me, I want her to be inspired. <laughs> This episode of In Focus was brought to you by DeVry University, proud to support the education of Team USA.